Hello, crew. How are you? It's awesome to be here. My eyes are hanging out my head a little bit, <laughs> but it is amazing. Whoops, I'm dropping. Oh, gosh. Hang on. <laughs> this could be a sign of my live today, guys, I tell you. Um, can anybody tell that I'm, I'm kind of tired? <laughs> I just want to share with you guys. We're just going to have a chat today. I'm going to share with you guys a little bit about the experience of the weekend, which I attended an event for um, online digital marketers, anybody sort of building a business online that wants to learn the latest and greatest regarding sort of digital marketing, online marketing. And it's been a bit of a whirlwind. I have had some sleep, but I think it's going to take a couple of days just to sort of adjust back to normal because for those of you that are unaware, in the Australian time zone, this event I attended in the weekend, which should have been in Vegas, I should be in Vegas right about now doing something very pleasurable um, because I took it, we were going to take, because Paul was coming with me, and we took uh, two days. Was it going to be two days? What's today? So this would be my day off day and tomorrow as well. So we would have been cruising around Vegas doing something, having a drink somewhere, but not to be. But the event was put on digitally, for the, just for those of you that are unaware, but in the Australian time zones. And there are fellow Aussies that could even be listening live or watching the replay that stayed up as well. But for me, being um, involved with the event as a mentor, I had pre-event meetings. So before the event actually started, we had meetings an hour before that. And then after the event, we had virtual cocktail parties with certain members of the community that were attending the event afterwards, which went for about an hour, an hour and a half or so. So it was quite a bit extended other than the actual event itself. For me, I was attending meetings before it actually went live and after it finished going live. So they were very long sort of time frames. So I started about 11.30 at night and finished, uh, well, the first day I think I got into bed about midday the following day, but the last two days I didn't get into bed until about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I did get some sleep last night, but very broken. But, uh, yeah, I have had some sleep. It's just when you're doing your days upside down, <laughs> it's just, just going to take a, a few days to just sort of, well, a couple of days to get adjusted. But I feel good. I feel I don't have a headache or anything, which is amazing. And I just feel excited for everybody that attended, everything that happened, some successes for me. I'll share that with you in a minute. And for the, if we've got anybody on live that went, can you please share your thoughts about what you experienced, whether you loved it, uh, what you got out of it? Because um, I know there's people listening or on the replay that definitely did attend. So, yeah, if there's anyone on that doesn't know what I'm talking about, um, that's sort of what it all was all about. Now, for those of you that did attend, I just want to share a couple of updates. Um, the immediate online recordings they're extending in the Facebook group so it's either going to be they're making them available to Wednesday or even Friday um, so they just want to extend the time frame for everybody to be able to get access to the immediate recordings after that they're editing all the recordings and they will be made available to you later but it's going to take a number of weeks um, for the actual full um, professional recordings to be available but for those that you were there they so they will be the immediate recordings will be taken down either Wednesday or Friday. I don't know which one they decided on, but they were only meant to be available till Monday night at midnight. But they are extended. So for those of you that missed it, you're in a time zone where you couldn't watch it. Um, look in the uh, the Facebook group connected to the event. You've got access to the immediate recordings. They do have a problem with day three, part two. So they're trying to go back to the original organisers of the event to to render that recording properly. I think that's the recording of the second panel that I did, which is disappointing. So I'm hoping they can get it back. Um, so, but I, for those of you that didn't go to the event and you're thinking, oh, this is not relevant to me, there are a couple of lessons that I do want to share with you in this video that I got out of it. Um, so stay with us um, because I want to I want to sort of share that with you. So there is some meaning behind what I'm going to share, even if you didn't attend the event, um, you know, uh, at all. Um, so let's say hello to um, a couple of people. I've done some weird things this morning. I haven't drank coffee for three weeks. And when I woke up this morning, it's like, I want a coffee. So I had a coffee. 
It's really weird, though, when you haven't drank coffee for a few, and it's even decaf too, but it just sort of sat right on the corner of my head after I drank it. So I'm not sure the reason that I needed a coffee, but I just thought I needed a coffee. And then I had breakfast, like I had eggs and avocado, and I don't normally eat breakfast, so I'm not sure what's going on, guys, but I'm a bit all over the place. (laughs) But it's all good. Hello, Gloria. Gloria's a life member of our coaching community. How did you find it, Gloria? Gloria attended. Hello, Edith. Lovely to see you on Crystal. Crystal attended. What did you think, Crystal? Hello, Edith. Edith is a life member. Uh, What could you have possibly learned? I don't know. We'll see. Now, if anyone appears like this, I'm broadcasting live on my business page and my free group at the same time. So that's called Social Media Strategies for Home Business Owners. Anybody is welcome to join that free group. So if you're new there, this is how you're going to appear. So all you need to do to resolve that, you only need to do it once. Occasionally, um, you have to do it again, but you should only really have to do it once, is there is a link at the very bottom of the description in the group. You won't see this on the biz- on my business page, but in the group, and it says uh, streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. I think that's what it says. And if you click on that link, then I'll be able to see who you are. Okay, so if you know you've left a comment and you appear like that, that's all you need to do. Hello, Terry. Lovely to see you here. Hello, Crystal, life member. Cindy, how are you? Life member and VIP member. Hello, Emma. All these beautiful people were on the event. Hello, Beth, life member as well. Hello, Janet, life member and VIP. You look beautiful as always. I'm not quite, can you tell my eyes are not quite, my eyes are always my giveaway. I'm not quite back to normal, but I'm doing okay. (laughs) <laughs> You're a rock star, Helen. I did. You did it. You made it all weekend. I did. Well, you look better than Sunday afternoon or was it your three in the morning? Yeah, exactly. I was so tired on one panel uh, particularly. But what you guys might not know is I lost power for an hour and a half, those that were on it. So I'm sitting away helping out with the event behind the scenes and everything went black. It was... Uh, 1.30, quarter to two in the morning. And I'm like, no, not now. And we've had shocking weather all weekend. And so I thought it was a, a blackout. And I thought, that's okay. Hopefully it'll come back. Fingers crossed. Let all the team know I'm in a blackout. I've lost internet because you need the power for the internet. So I'm sitting there going, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, turn the computer off. Um, com- uh, don't have the internet anyway. I've got my phone. So I've got internet on my phone, but... I've got a panel to do later. Maybe I can do the panel via my phone, but my battery's going to go flat. Maybe I need to turn my phone off. Like my head's going in a spin. So then I thought, okay, I'll check the local area for black blackout, see if I can get an update when the power's going coming back. So I've checked this the the website that does that, and it's like no outages in your area. And I'm like, crap. If it's not a blackout in the area, it must be the house. So then I checked all the safety switches and the main safety switch was off. So something had triggered it. And it's like, where do I start? At, you know, close to two o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, um, so I had to wake Paul up. So I went into Paul at two o'clock in the morning with a torch and went, honey, <laughs> honey. <laughs> He's like, yes. And I'm like, honey, we've got no power. I'm still in the middle of the event. I've got to be on a panel soon. I've got to sort this out. Can you help me? And he's like, oh, okay. He was really good about it. So he gets up and gets dressed and he's looking outside at the meter box and stuff like that. And then it suddenly dawned on me that the bit that was different in this stormy weather the last two nights is I was stoking the fire um, in the house throughout the night, but I hadn't left the outside lights on. Now when Paul, because Paul and the boys went out to the farm for a couple of days to just let me sleep during the day, but they came back in Sunday night and he'd left the outside lights on. And I thought, I wonder if the rain has got into the outside lights and that's what's triggered the power. So he's looking around the house and I'm like, honey, what about the outside lights? I said, just turn them off and then we'll trip the power again. So he turned them off and turned the power. So um, the first time he did that, it lasted for about five minutes and I'm like, woohoo, power back on and then it tripped again. And I'm like, oh no. So then we did that, turned the outside lights off and the power stayed on. So I'm so glad I went to that website and realized it was us and not, um, you know, a blackout because I would have sat there all night waiting for the power to go on thinking it was a blackout when it was actually our house. So I, for about an hour and a half, I was out of action going into a massive spin because <laughs> I was helping out with things on the event, but eventually got the power back on. And that's what it was. The rain had got into the outside lights and tripped the whole power uh, for the whole house. 
So some of you wouldn't have known that that went on during the event, <laughs> but that was a little drama that sort of happened um, in between. But all good. It got, we got there in the end. Hello, Heather. How are you? Hello, Tony. Thank you for your lovely message. Hi, Ray. How are you? You're having coffee with Judy and Bob. That's awesome. How are you? Just a little bit more. So again, um, just click that link from StreamYard if you know you've made that comment and I can't see who you are. Hello. High five, Mike. How are you? So blessed I was able to attend the event with you and so many beautiful people. Yeah, Monica, I hope you are well. I'm getting there. Sounds like it would be lovely in Feb, Helen Martin. You can do it again. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, the dates were announced and I wrote them down somewhere. They are from memory February 12th to 14th. Uh, 2021 in Vegas. That's when the physical event is going to happen. And I will actually be, uh, be a speaker on stage for that. So I'd already been invited to do that earlier in the year. Um, and so, yeah, uh, February 12th to 14th, put it in your calendar. If any of you can get to Vegas on 12th to 14th, 2021, hopefully I can get there and that the travel is okay by then um, because I want to speak on stage. I really do. I want to share things with um, people, um, you know, and help people in their businesses. So um, that's when the physical event is happening. So if you're into, if you're trying to build a business online and you want the great, latest and greatest regarding digital marketing and what's working, so the content then will be different to the content we've just learned because there'll be newer things that are working. Um, you know, for people. Uh, the weekend was great, Helen, and you were too. Thank you, Ted. Appreciate your comment there. Judy and Bob, you look amazingly good. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Rest, yes. Uh, Helen, looking excited after a few great days. Yeah, it was just amazing. What a trooper you are. Thank you, Cheryl Ann. Beth, the event was jam-packed with goodness. It was exciting. So glad I was able to attend. Thank you for all you did. No worries. Karen, hi, Helen. Very windy here. So unstable internet. Oh, we can catch the replay if it cuts out on you. Hello, Cindy. You still look wonderful. Oh, you guys are so kind. It was an awesome weekend. That event was freaking mind-blowing. <laughs> I agree, Crystal. Uh, it was really good. I liked having a plan of action. Absolutely. It gave me a game plan. That's what it's all about now. I was on for all of it. Well done, Ford. Proud of you. Patricia's a life member. Woohoo! It was unbelievable. Fantastic. So helpful and full of information. They did a great job. It was an information-packed weekend. Yep. They're still available on Friday. So they've announced that, have they? How cool is that, that you can go into that Facebook group and re re um, re listen to things? Remember, you will get the full recordings, but those live recordings will come down after Friday. So if you want to recap anything now, watch the recordings while they're still available to you. An incredible experience this weekend was, and I, I do give credit, like Emma's in Australia. She was up all night. There were a number of people that were from Australia that were up all night as well as myself. Yeah, great to get the recordings. Um, I hate the hat. Well, I don't really care, Robert, because it's just all in a bit of fun and we like to have fun here. So that's okay. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I couldn't keep taking notes and screenshots. Holy cow, lots to go over. Yeah, absolutely. Got my perfect attendance sheet in as well. Awesome. Uh, do you know how long the pre-weekend group will be open? It'll stay open, Steph, because everybody that's in there is entitled to a ticket to the live event. It's already included in your ticket. So there'll be other things leading up to, and there's more things this week. So Kate's interviewing me in that group Um Thursday afternoon US time, so my Friday morning. So there's still things going in the group this weekend, Steph. Um, so unless Kate cancels again. But, yeah, Kate and I are having an interview in the group later on. So don't worry about that. Ted, it was the best conference I can remember having in the network marketing field. It wasn't just all rah-rah, um, here are the new products. It was getting down and into the weeds on building your business. The breakaway sessions were great and the presentations were great. And that's the beauty of this event is that it's company neutral. So it's really all about online and digital marketing. It's not the rah-rah of a network marketing company event, um, you know, regarding products and stuff like that. It's truly all about online and digital marketing and what's working now. So, um, you know, um, it's, it's um, yeah, it's it's just great uh, stuff because it's it's company neutral. You don't say things like this. What, what did I say? 
<laughs> that I don't care about the hat comment. Well, I don't. I just like to have fun. I'm not sure what you're referring to, Adita. I couldn't get my sheet in as the internet went out. Oh, not to worry. I'm sure they can work out something for you. Just post something in the group. I learned so much that I'm looking at my business with a different perspective. Amazing. And thank you for sharing all your um, comments, guys. Um, for those of you that attended, it was awesome. So what did I learn from it and what did I take away from it? So what I learned from it, I've just jotted down some things here if I'm, I'm looking down. Um, technology really is amazing. Like the amount of money um, that attractionmarketing.com spent on um, putting the event together is just incredible. What it took to put it together digitally is um, just, you know, just amazing. Um you got no idea what was involved and it didn't all run smoothly. There were glitches, particularly on the first day, but everyone was pr pretty forgiving of that because it was just such a mass production. But the quality, the sound, how they um, did transitions and then brought panels on and they were, you know, you guys wouldn't have seen that, but um, the actual speakers were on one platform and then when we went live as panels, that was actually through Skype and then Skype was broadcasted into the, like it was just mind blowing. You've got no idea. Um, but so technology, the online world itself is just incredible what you can bring to people and the impact that you can make to people's lives through technology is just simply amazing so it just blew me away how it sort of all came together and what we were able to sort of achieve um, just incredible um, so other lessons and you guys that attended will hopefully feel this. If you do what others are not willing to do, and what I mean by that is investing in training, staying, um, you know, especially for Australians, staying up all night for three nights, most people won't do it. They just won't commit to it for one reason or another. Um, but when you do things, and some people won't even sit for three days to watch training because it's too much out of their day. Like they just won't sacrifice certain other things to do that. But when you do and you put your, you know, you put your learning mode on and you commit to those kind of things, what you can get out of it, you never know. That's the risk. You, you um, do things like this and you don't know whether you're going to get something out of it or not. But it's those people that are willing to embrace it and willing to do it and do things that most people won't do. What you've got out of that event is just incredible. So congratulations to you that did that. And that's the lesson in, um, you know, embracing new things and going to events, whether they're digital or online, and just doing things that other people aren't willing to do because you definitely get the benefit, um, you know, out of it. The other lessons is, and, I, you know, chime in those that attended the event, but even in the breakout sessions, we had breakout sessions on Zoom where people could see each other and we did interactive stuff and we actually did sort of practical stuff as well. You've now met people you never met before in the online world. You've now connected with people and, you know, seen new faces and people that are successful in the industry that you can actually connect with on an ongoing basis. That's priceless because half the journey in the online world is who your mentors are, who you connect with, who you build relationships with along the way that you can support each other and encourage each other and share your knowledge and you can share what's working and share what's not working. And those relationships, I'm telling you, are absolutely priceless. So that's definitely a lesson to get out of even an online event. In better is definitely, per, you know, in person is definitely better because you can, well, I don't know if we are even allowed to hug anymore, but, you know, you can have real conversations with real people. But even in this digital event is amazing and there's people that you would have seen their face and heard their names that you've never heard before that you might continue connections with now in the online world and help each other out. So that kind of thing, the way the event enabled that to happen with the breakout sessions in Zoom was incredible. Um, even for me, connecting with students, like as a mentor, leading some of those breakout sessions, but to see new names and new faces, and now I know who they are, whereas maybe I didn't know before. And I've had messages from people saying, you know, loved what you said, and it was great to connect with you on the event, and yet it's still digital. So we're still building relationships with people, even though it's through a digital event, like priceless. Um, the other thing is you don't know what you don't know. So there's, there's some of you that you didn't know what the event was going to be like. You didn't really know what the training was going to be about other than, you know, stuff to help you with your online business. So you don't know what you don't know. But I bet those of you that attended 
have learned a hell of a lot more, more in the last three days than you did know before. Like there are things that you know now that you didn't even know you didn't know before. <laughs> Does that make sense? So in the online world, guys, open your eyes and ears to opportunities that are available to you that you may not even know how it's going to help you yet until you actually embrace it and attend it. But then afterwards, it's like, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's something new that I learned. Oh, there's a new posting strategy or there's a new, um, you know, there's some new information regarding how I strategize my posts on Facebook or learning more about influence. I mean, here's some of the topics we went through, learning about influence, enrollment conversations, power posting on Facebook, 30-day action plans. We dove pretty deep into attraction marketing itself posting copy, ad copy, branding, content creation, Facebook Live formula, identifying your perfect prospect, learning about different types of online funnels because there are different types of funnels and they're not always paid advertising. Um, like it just, you know, incredible, incredible stuff. Um, and that's what, the, you know, you just don't know until you learn. So part of the journey of online marketing is balancing shiny object syndrome with um, being open to new opportunities and those kind of opportunities to attend an event like that. And I just really, you know, congratulate, um, you know, congratulate you guys that embraced it and attended it because in the scheme of thing, it wasn't much money for what you'll get out of it and you still get a free ticket to the actual event next year, which is incredible. So well done to you guys. Um, the experience for me, I just want to share that, uh, exhausting. Um, like one of the panels that I was, I was on two panels. So I was on a panel on the event with my fellow mentors. Um, there's only seven of us around the world that mentor their highest level students for the mentorship company that put the event on. And one of those is out of action at the moment, which I shared with you guys the last couple of weeks. Um, Becky and Tim Graff lost their two daughters, um, you know, in a terrible accident, you know, flash flood accident in Utah not long ago. And so Becky's not working at all at the moment, understandably. So um, there's really only six of us. And so we were on a panel sharing our experiences with, with people and um, I was so tired. So for me, that happened about 6.30 in the morning. So I'd gone through from about 11.30 p.m. through, so, you know, going through the night. So at that stage of the night, pretty exhausted. And I don't know if you guys could tell, I think you could probably could, but I was exhausted. But that was a highlight for me, being on a panel with my fellow mentors. But the the other highlight for me is being on a panel with some pretty serious heavy hitters in the network marketing industry that are building online. Um, I'm talking about people that are earning $100,000 a month, which is, um, you know, fellow network marketers like myself in the same community and people like um, John Milton, if you know him, he earns about a million dollars a month. Um, he's in another, another, like a different network marketing company to me, but has been in the industry forever and has been building online for a number of years now. So to be in the same caliber of people, there was what, one, two, three, four or five of us on that panel to be included in the same caliber of those kind of people. That was called, what was that panel called? The Top Producer Mastermind Session. So to be in the same caliber of those kind of people was a massive highlight to me and to be able to be sharing a stage with them in Vegas, I'm kind of like, do I really belong here? <laughs> it's very, uh, you know, a bit daunting, but you know, it's just a reflection of my journey over the last few years and just so privileged to be on that panel and sharing my successes, you know, with, with people as well. So um, that, that was amazing for me over the weekend. Um, the other things that were happening, you know, at the time is I actually won the most ticket sales for the event. And so that afforded me some extra income. It also afforded me, I've won a speaking spot in Vegas, but I'm already speaking in Vegas. So <laughs> if I wasn't, then I would be. Um, I That also helped me win a, a virtual power day with Fernie Sabias, Tim Irway and Kate McShay. If you don't know who they are, they like Fernie's earn over $20 million online. TJ would be the same. Kate's a, a seven figure earner in the industry and I've won myself a power day with them, working with them, the three of them on my business and my online journey. So that I'm incredibly grateful, but I've won that. And I also won a 11-inch iPad Pro or a Surface Pro 7. 
got any tips between one or the other. I, I have to choose between 11 inch iPad Pro or a Surface Pro 7. So if you've got any, I don't know much about either. So if you've got any um, clues about which one I should choose out of those two, um, then I would appreciate your advice. <laughs> um, so that was pretty cool um, to win that and get all those prizes. And while all was that was happening, guys, this is the power of attraction marketing and duplication within your team. Um, over my team, over my whole team, 31 people joined my network marketing business over the weekend in total. 31 people joined my network marketing business over the weekend. So that's my that's within my entire team. And multiple people rank advanced. And there's two really special ones that rank advanced. And they're probably on live listening, but I'm so proud of them. So, you know, at the same time that I'm tied up an event and busy, you know, the team's growing, people are rank advancing in my network marketing business. Like it's just, this is what it's all about. When you concentrate on things like branding um, and um, giving value um, on social media, really dialing in to give intentional content and intentional value. And there's something that I want to highlight for you guys that weren't there that I, I is a takeaway from me. And I already know this. I already tell you this um, over and over and over again, but it was from a different voice and I want to share that with you. So when I was on this panel with, um, you know, some really, really serious network marketers online that are earning big bucks and I'm on the panel with them and I had my own things to share, obviously, to the community, but John Milton was one of those um, people and what he had to share amongst other things was we got asked what's, you know, what's one of the most important things that you would share with people about building online like today, like, um, you know, something that's impactful for people to concentrate on. And this is something that I harp on with you guys, but it came from a different voice. So it's from John Milton and this is all about building relationships. So that was his main sort of focus and suggestion to people building in the online world is building relationships. So what I want to share around that is a lot of people do start on social media and build on social media for what they want to get out of it. So it's like I'll build a business page and I'll build fans and followers and then I can recommend certain things for them and they'll become leads and they'll buy. So there's still a lot of people on social media that come from that mentality of what they want from social media. But it's not um, it's not the angle that's going to make you successful. So, um, you know, building an audience, yes, but how you can serve that audience, that was sort of my angle, you know, loving on your audience and being appreciative of the people that are there. And John added on that about building relationships. So building relationships in a way that you are really intentional with your time on social media. And so the networking continues on social media um, to build those relationships. And he particularly highlighted, which I've told you guys many a time, the power in Facebook store. Stories. So he deliberately goes to Facebook stories, looks at, well, you can tell, you know, somebody that's got the blue circle. Um, so the blue circle around somebody's name. So if I go into Messenger now um, and I go to my Messenger, go to my people. So just for privacy reasons, I'll hold it back. But here, there are circles with people's um, profiles on it and there will be ones with blue circles around it and ones that don't. So the ones with blue circles around it, he knows they've got an active story. So he will single out the people with the active story, the blue circle, see what they've put up there and deliberately send them a message and just say something like, that's really cool. Yeah, awesome, love that or whatever. So it's just scanning through like, seriously, this could become part of your DMO. And just going to the people with the blue circle, because you know they've got the active story, it'll show you the active story straight away when you press on it and communicate with these people. They're, they're, they're being shown to you, they're in your face. You don't even have to go look for it. You don't have to go look look looking for the networking opportunity. It's right there in your messenger. So pick on those people with the blue circle, press on it, see what their story is and get in their messenger and say something that then encourages them to reply, maybe open, like um, ask an open-ended uh, question. So this is my spin on it. This isn't, isn't everything that John shared. I'm just giving you a deeper strategy as to how to go about it. So he mentioned that that's what he does. But what I'm sharing with you is go to that um, comment 
ask an open-ended question so then they reply it's going to hit their messenger and then you can write reply back and you're starting a conversation but more importantly you're starting to build relationships with potentially people that you haven't before or maybe you haven't communicated with this person for six months or a year or something like that but for some reason it's showing up in your messenger in your stories so build relationships with people through stories because it hits their messenger that's where the power of building relationships happens. It's when we're in people's messenger. But you have the opportunity just to comment on somebody's story, which is different than deliberately, hi, how are you going? And somebody's thinking, why are they messaging me? Like their scepticism is already up and they don't know maybe why you're messaging them when you haven't messaged them for 20 years. But if somebody's put something in their story and you just comment on it because you've seen it, they're not, they're not sceptical of that. You've just seen their story and you've commented on it. So there are so many opportunities for you in the online world to build relationships. And when you build relationships with people on social media, that's when things will start to change with you. It's not a one-way street on social media, but that's how a lot of digital marketers are treating it. Like your focus might be solely on Facebook advertising. If it is, you're missing a huge piece of getting leads and sales into your business by building relationships on social media. And don't forget, those of you that are advertising, Facebook more than ever wants to know that you are building, um, you are, you've are you got um, you know, a proper business and a proper brand. So the whole business page, building a brand, building relationships, that's a huge part of not getting shut down. Facebook needs to know that you're legit. So if you've only got a business page because of the need to do Facebook advertising and there's no guts, there's no value, there's no depth to your business page, good luck when you get shut down because there's no substance to you, okay? We want substance, we want value and, you, uh, you know, at all times, love on your audience and build relationships. Does that make sense, guys? So I just wanted to share that takeaway um, with you. I'm just going to check in with a couple of comments here. Uh, I took tons of notes and I learned so much. I took an action step with my live about an hour ago. Plus, I want to give a huge thank you to all those who have me uh, maybe gave you so much love and support that I had to deal with during the event. That's right, Crystal. Um, I agree. Adita, hello. <laughs> Uh, my internet kept going off and on as well all weekend. So you can go back to those recordings now, Monica, and catch up now that they're available till Friday. So hopefully that'll help you. I just realized I was totally leaning into my chair listening to that story about your power. You need to watch the replay. It was great storytelling. I'm glad you got it fixed anyway. So pick up on that for a sec, guys, on what Cindy just said. I told you just a basic story about my power and she realized she was leaning into the story. This is something we covered on the weekend and at the event. If you don't realize the power of storytelling and actually talking about personal experiences that may lead to some kind of teaching moment or sharing, you know, something with somebody, then you're missing a huge element in your social media. So thank you for highlighting that, Cindy. So it just goes to show um, just storytelling in a way, like telling stories like JT, who's one of our presenters at the event, did this amazingly. Were you not all glued to JT's stories when he was presenting? But he presented from a story format, telling a story and then building in his lessons into the story. So there are so many powerful things that you can do online to gain somebody's attention rather than just bleh. So those people, yeah, I know I need to go live two to three times a week and post some stuff on my page, and they just do it because they're told to do it. I work with students like that, but there's no depth or there's no meaning to what they're actually delivering. But when you deliver it with meaning and you're raw and authentic, like I was just sharing the experience with you about my weekend, but Cindy was leaning into it. So awesome, Cindy. Thank you for your feedback. I'm so happy to learn tools from the event that I can implement right away. I'm so pumped and excited. Amazing. Not sure who that is, but hello. Feb 11th to 14th. Thank you, Gloria. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to Vegas and Frank is going with you. Oh, exciting. I, I want so many of you to be there so I can meet you in person. I wouldn't miss you on stage for all the tea in China. <laughs> cool. I got you, Cindy. I knew what you meant. 
see you in Vegas. Awesome, Ted. I look forward to that. I will try to be there too. Amazing, Adita. I can't wait to meet you in person. Got the date written down, but I'm planning to attend the event. My God, Crystal. Save your pennies now, everybody. It's going to be the event to be at, I, I swear. Could be so great to meet you all in person. Absolutely. Yep, I hear you. Hello, Faye. How are you? Good to, good to see you here. I'll be there. I just hop in the car and jet on over there. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, you're a bit closer to some of us. Hey, Lynn, how are you? I lost my internet during the second half of two days, plus other personal things happened on day three and I had to leave the event early. All good. That's what you can catch up with the replays for. Hi, Aldith. How are you? Good to see you on. What did you say there? Sorry, I missed that. Enlightening weekend for me. Amazing. It was so great to have our crew family was there. That made it even better. Absolutely loved the weekend. Um, Robert came on. Yeah. Yay. Um, glad the group will remain open. I couldn't get my sheet in as our internet went out. I think I caught that before. Oh, so I've gone way back. Sorry. Um, uh, thanks, Helen. So worth no sleep. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Those breakout Zooms were awesome, made several new connections, and I learned so much from the other seven or eight people that were in there. Yeah, so it's learning from each other as well. Um, it was a wet, horrible weekend for us, so didn't miss out. Um so didn't miss out on the long weekend. So I'm not sure if you got the information or you didn't. I was starving the whole first day. That means you were soaking up so much energy with it, Gloria. That's amazing. You're awesome. And I met so many cool people, so much value hearing others' stories and where they are at and where they are going. Amazing. It's the same if you want to achieve perfect body, athlete body. You have to stick with the athletes. Absolutely. JT DeVault is my new best friend. Uh, too bad he's a Seahawk fan. Ah, there you go. Lots of he's very open about that. Um, it was such a feeling of community. I felt like it was I was at a huge party. It was weird, but I felt so loved throughout the whole event. That's amazing. So um, you know, I could I could go on and on. Um, had no clue, but glad I went. I think I figured out um all those acronyms. Awesome. Uh, the breakout sessions were fantastic, meeting people that were on um, all different levels, so, learnt so much, already starting to implement things, very exciting. Amazing. I mean, I could go on, guys. You guys have got, um, you know, so much, um, you know, so much good, uh, you know, comments there. I'll go back there and have a look. Um, but, yeah, just take, for those of you that didn't go to the event, the Vegas event is available to anybody next year, so put that on your radar. You can see the impact of what people got from the digital event. And I'm just really grateful, and I hope you guys are as well. I mean, this they didn't have to do that digitally, um, but I'm so glad they did for all the experiences they've had and all the content that you guys were able to access, which you wouldn't normally be able to access. So well done. We will get back to normal, um, you know, from tomorrow here. Now, for those of you guys, if you're still on, that um, got in at the certain times that you are, you are entitled to that special Zoom call for me, I haven't set the date for that yet. So please just be patient with me. Obviously, I'm just trying to do a bit of catch up at the moment, but I'll announce that in the next couple of days of when that's going to be. So that was a special, um, you know, offer from me for those that purchased the tickets at certain times to get on a Zoom call with me and everybody else. And let's just put some perspective on everything that you learned. And if you've got any questions about things, I can help clarify that for you. Um, you know, 30 day action plans or what do you do from here? What's more important than other things? You know, stuff like that. So just having that debrief after the event once you've had some time to absorb the recordings a bit more and stuff like that. So it's not right now. I want to give you some time to absorb and reflect and I'll uh, set that date in the next couple of days, okay? So um, thanks for being here, guys. You know how much I appreciate you. Well done to those that, um, you know, went to the event. I'm, I'm so glad that you were able to experience that with me. Thank you for all your support. Um, you know, when I was on the panel and things like that, I really appreciate that. And I will see you guys. Will I? Or have I got a webinar tomorrow? Hang on. I might have a webinar tomorrow. Let me check that. That I do. So i um, glad I checked that. Um, I've got to host another webinar tomorrow regarding Facebook advertising, so I will be earlier. So tomorrow I'll be an hour and a half earlier than I normally am while I'm helping out with these webinars, okay? So if you're able to uh, be on at that time, I will see you then. Otherwise, you can catch the replay and I'll see you the next day. Okay, bye, uh, guys. <laughs> see you then. Bye.